Oh my god. Have a look at that. Yo. Check that out. That is a baby American crocodile. Back here in the mangroves of South Florida. Hanging out on the road. Look at how fat he is. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and we're in South Florida. This is about a 10 foot American alligator. This is one of the most incredible crocodilian species here. However, there's a very rare species that we want to show you guys, the American crocodile. Close cousins to the American alligator and very, very endangered here in South Florida. I've gotten plenty of experience working with American alligators back in Louisiana. And I've been looking forward to the day I could see wild American crocodiles for years. And tonight is the night. Check it out. It's our first crocodile. This one's about 7 or 8 feet in length, a pretty decent size. They can grow to be almost 16 feet in length on rare occasions. But I think that this is a female, so they normally max out around 12 feet. So she is a really well-grown croc. Alright guys, well we're right now hanging out with this little adorable seven foot American crocodile right here in this boat launch. They're a very nocturnal species, they'll come up here at night, just kind of hang out. I've never seen anything like it. They look completely different from the American alligator. They have a more slender build, a lot less bulky than the American alligator. Got that snout. This is about a seven foot individual, so this is a nice size adult crocodile. Obviously, we don't want to scare away, we don't want to stress her out. We just want to leave her here, not mess with her too much. And look at how close we are. I'm about six feet away. Hello, baby. I want to do my best to not scare her off, even after we've left. But... Hello, baby. Not aggressive whatsoever. Perfectly relaxed. This thing is extremely powerful. Could lunge at me if it wanted to. Could scare me off pretty easily. She's bigger. She's just as big, if not bigger than me. And uh, she's perfectly relaxed. I'm so glad she's not leaving. She's very used to people, obviously. This is the best way to see an American crocodile. That is insane. See you, sweetie. This is incredible. What a score. Our first croc ever. But that's not the only endangered species hanging around this dock tonight. I want to show you guys this real quick. This is incredible. Sawfish. Critically endangered species. Never seen one before. That's incredible. The small toothed sawfish is a critically endangered species due to overfishing for their fins. It's an absolute shame. They've become incredibly rare to see almost anywhere. They can grow to be over 25 feet in length. That is one gigantic fish. They used to live along the Atlantic coast all the way up to New York, but now the only place that you can find them in the U.S. is the very tip of Florida, right at the Caribbean. It's incredible that we're getting a chance to see this little guy. Just gotta make sure he stays a good ways away from these big crocs. Now that we've gotten a chance to see some big crocs, it's time to go hands-on with one. It's important to remember that these are an endangered and protected species, and before coming to Florida, I wanted a chance to go hands-on with one. Luckily, a buddy of mine that works at Florida Fish and Game Services really helped us out by permitting us to catch a croc, but the circumstances were super strict. We were only allowed to handle an American crocodile if it was right in the road and needed to be moved off of it. Then we could film for only a few minutes before releasing it off the road. The chances of seeing an American crocodile on the road is slim to none, almost impossible, so I thought, there's no chance we're going to get to go one-on-one -on -one with a croc. No chance. And sure enough, while we're driving along, I spotted something that looked kind of like a baby alligator. Oh my goodness. Have a look at that. We're going to be very quick. Yo. Check that out. That is a baby American crocodile. Back here in the mangroves of South Florida. Hanging out on the road. Look at how fat he is. And uh, he didn't try to bite me when I picked him up. American crocodiles are a very calm species. Very beautiful animal. Have a look at him. Now they're an endangered species down here. And uh, we're under the guise of literally just moving this guy off the road. Literally, we're just gonna film him really quickly, 
get this guy back, back into the water. But my goodness, this is something I did not expect to see on the road, but that's insane. This is probably less than a year old, little, little small fry here. You can see how these guys are different from the American alligator. Big long snout. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And look at that tail, tail looks different too. Well, he's a little tubby guy, he's a little fatso. This is an absolute star, an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous animal, and one that's getting some serious protection. And uh, because of that, we're not gonna handle him for too long and we're gonna put him right back into these mangroves where he belongs, but that is insane. Now, American crocodiles, while I said they are docile, the American version, uh, he would still bite me. If I didn't grab him properly, he would turn and bite me in self-defense, because that's proper. This little guy doesn't want to be picked up. He thinks I'm a big predator. He sees multiple big predators around him, and, uh, you know, he doesn't know that we mean him no harm, but I'm being very gentle, very relaxed. The American crocodile is a special species, and uh, really, I really want to show some side-by-side -side comparisons of the alligator with these guys one day, but uh, that's not going to be today. Obviously, it's an endangered species, so uh, who knows? Maybe we'll get to check these guys out at a facility. There's some great conservation work for these animals. They don't get as big as the ones in Australia. The ones in Australia are known to be the aggressive, big saltwater crocodiles, and there's also the more mild freshwater crocodiles, but there's many other species of crocodile throughout the world. And the Americans max out at around 12 to 14 feet. They rarely get bigger than that. This is a little baby one, but uh, they mean no harm to people, and they're not something to be afraid of, especially here in America. Obviously, we need to still be aware of these guys, and when we're in their natural habitat, be very respectful of them, and uh, don't be swimming up to these guys. Please do your best to respect these guys. It's a beautiful animal, and something that hopefully we'll get to see a lot more in the future, thanks to conservation work. Beautiful species, beautiful crocodile, and I love them. Let me see, let me kiss you. Mwah! Kiss the little crocodile. All right, we got our little American croc. He's gonna go right back down into the mangrove. Didn't have too long. And right back here, straight up water. He's gonna take off and be good. Go, little baby. Oh, he's stuck. There he goes. Bye, buddy. Come back. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed. This was an absolute blast to film. And uh, if you guys wanna see more of this, make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video. We'll see you guys next time.